Good morning. We're at Beverly Beck today, dead baiting for pike. Uh, on the left hand rod, I have half a mackerel, and on the other rod, I have a small roach, and I've got that about two foot off bottom, and I'm just letting it drift around. Uh, the rods are the same as usual, the uh, 10 foot Black Widow Diawa, two pound test curve, 15 pound line. On the left rod, I am fishing float ledger. On the other one, it's just a normal float setup. All right, catch you later and hopefully we'll get something. All right. <laughs> it came off. I just put half a sardine on and, and cast it down there. And literally, as I sat down, it went. Um, it's that deep just at the end of that branch I had a roach on down there for about half an hour not a touch and I literally dropped it there sat down bob 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 and it went quite surprised how deep it is uh this float here, if you can see it, I'm fishing on a slider now. Um, I've got about nine and a half foot, and the other rod is down here now. It's, that's on bottom. That's about nine and a half. Looking at about eleven foot in the middle. It's a it's a weird place. This. It's only what three quarters of a mile long, and. It goes down to a lock gate which joins the river hull and then it just stops in Beverly itself. Oh, got a bite. Got a bite. Let's see if it takes properly. of bobs on it and see what happens definitely something looking at it. it's bobbed about four times I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same fish I lost earlier and that was only small probably a pound and a half right he's bobbing away he's looking 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 And we're in. And it's come off. Oh, my days. And I forgot to mention for anyone who's interested uh, if you want to fish here you go to the garage at the end of the, the road as you turn in to the bag and get a ticket it's five pounds if you don't and you pay on the bank it's double so if you don't go to the garage it's ten pounds uh, I had two little jacks on, lost them. Yeah, I've got one on now. They're only small, pound, pound, pound and a half. I don't know if there's any big pike left in here now. 
Yeah, that's not too bad, but there used to be a lot of 17s, 20s. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, you're not allowed to live bait on here. Right, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm only using small baits because, like I said, I, I, I've had a couple on and, and they've just let go after I've struck into them. Yeah. Got some action on this one again. As you may have noticed, I've changed the flow. I've gone for a inline in body float. Let's wait for it to go. It's only a little in again. Let's see if I can actually get one out today. And it, it stopped. Story of my life, this. Well, I'm wondering if it's eels. That's what it looks like on one side. But we'll flick it out and see what happens. It's still bobbing away. I'm wondering if it's eels because I, I brought the bait out and half of the side's gone. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Alright, get back to you if anything happens. <laughs> 